So, hi guys! Welcome back sa aking channel. Um, ito nga pala yung experiment 2 which is entitled the Instantaneous Power, Energy, and Average Power Using P-SPICE. So, yung objectives natin ay to stimulate power electronic circuit to determine the voltages, current, and power quantities. And also, to utilize the functions to measure the energy and steady state RMS current. So, open natin yung ORCAD. So, sabi, gawa tayo ng new project and... We name it as analog, tapos name na lang natin na experiment 2 part 1. Let's create a blank, blank project. So, gagawin natin yung circuit na nakalagay sa instruction. So, V sign yung source na to. So, hanapin natin yung V sign na source. Source, voltage sources, then V sign. Then, resistor and a ground. Resistor. Let's rotate. Okay. Eh, delete. Rotate natin siya. Then, ground. Then, connect natin siya using wires. Tapos, lagyan natin ng mga value. So, sabi, yung V of natin ay 0. Then, yung V AMPL natin ay is equal to 10. Then, yung frequency natin ay 60. And, yung AC value natin ay hindi nakalagay. So, remove na lang natin yung AC. Delete. So, ayan. Um, so, ayan. New simulation profile tayo. Then, lagay natin experiment 2, part 1. Tapos, ayan. Sabi, gawin, gawin daw natin na yung runtime ay 16.67 ms lang. So, set natin 16.67. 67 ms and check down natin yung time domain transient and time domain transient apply okay so ganyan dapat yung magiging itsura ng circuit natin so zoom in natin ganyan dapat yung magiging itsura ng circuit natin so test natin kung ganyan ba yung kakalabasan run p spice so ayan trace tayo Lagay tayo ng instantane, yung instantaneous power, WR1. Tapos, ano pa yung kailangan? Yung voltage. Voltage. Ang pangalan ng voltage natin ay V1. Also, yung current ng resistor natin ay, pangalan ng resistor natin ay, R1. Hindi ko pa pala nababago yung yung value ng R. Lagyan natin 5 ohms lang. 5 ohms. So, exit muna natin to. Just run na lang ulit natin. So, trace, add trace, instantaneous power ng R1. Voltage ng V1, current ng R1. Wait, ano nangyayari? Natin ang kamo. Ayaw. Mm. WR1 tapos V V1 and then 
yung I I R O ayan. so ayan yan yung naging itsura ng circuit natin so tignan natin yung result so itong I R O natin nagsimula siya sa negative cycle so i-modify natin siya gawin siya siya negative sa para mag-start siya sa positive cycle. So, ayan na siya. Parehong pareho na nung lumabas na circuit na kailangan sa procedure. So, yung green line, yung green wave ay yung instantaneous power. Yung red wave ay yung input voltage. And then, yung blue wave or kind of purple wave, siya yung current in R1. So, makukuha rin natin dito yung average ng no? ng instantaneous power add trace lang ulit tayo so hanapin natin yung AVG dito AVG mm, ta-type daw natin ay WR1 WR1 yan so ayan siya yun yung yellow line ayan yung average ng instantaneous power so We can observe that the instantaneous power current in R1 and the input voltage is in phase with each other. Uh, based on the position of our cursor, so lagay na yun ng cursor, right click tayo. Um, cursor on. Yan. Tapos dito sa cursor natin, may kita natin yung mga values dito sa baba. Ayan. Ayan yung mga values natin. So, nilagay ko siya sa peak ng instantaneous power natin which measures a 19.977 watts. And then the input voltage measures the 9.1994 watts din. And the current measures 1.9988. So, we can see in the circuit that the we, we can prove the We can prove the output values here in the measured values when we calculate the theoretical values. So, if we using the Ohm's law, if we we can get the current if we divide the voltage over the resistor. So, 10 vo 10 volts divided by 5 ohms is equal to 2 amperes. So, which is near with with our get with our measured value, which is the 1.9988. We can also get the power using voltage times current. So, the voltage is 10 volts and then we have 2 amperes, then 20, 20 watts. So, the measured value is 19.977 watts, so which is nearly the same. So, instantaneous power is a power at a given instant and the average power is the power average over a cycle of number of cycles or number of cycles. So... Exa natin to. We can proceed now to the part 2. So, yung part 2 natin, we will use a pulse waveform or square wave siya in an RL circuit. So, gawin natin yung itong circuit. Uh, new, new project tayo. New project. Lagay tayo ng XP2 part 2. Create blank pad project. X na natin yung ito. Close tabs. Close. So, sa experiment 2, part 2, gagawin na natin to. So, pulse wave for pulse source sya. So, place, piece pipes component, source, voltage source, pulse. And meron din siyang resistor, inductor, and ground. So, piece by component, resistor, rotate natin siya, then inductor din, rotate din natin siya. So, align na, ay, X. Aalayin lang natin siya. Then, the ground. Then, connect natin siya using wires. 
hours. Oh, yeah. Ayan. So, yung mga value, yung V1 natin daw ay 0. Then, yung V2 is 20. Then, yung TD is equal to 0 din. Yung TR and TF is equal to 1N. 1N. Nanoseconds. 1N. Yung PW is 8M. 8M. And then, yung PR is equal to 20M. Then, yung R1 natin is equal to 2 ohms. Yung inductor natin is equal to 10MH. 10MH. So, ayan na yung ma maximize natin. Minimize. Yan. Yan na yung kagaya-kagaya na yung circuit natin. Square wave nga pala sya. So, um, P-SPICE, new simulation profile, XP2 part 2. So, ayan. So, lagay tayo ng run to time na 100. MS 100 MS Then Ang kailangan pa ay Yun lang Yun lang kailangan Then apply Okay Tapos run natin yung Circuit Ang hahanapin natin ay yung Current in R1 and the steady state RM circuit So Trace Add trace the current in IR1. IR1. Ayaw. Baka ito yun yung II2. I2. Ayan. Ay, mali. Hindi ito yun. Delete trace. Nasaan ba yung delete trace? Add trace. Ang pangalan ng... Ah, hindi pala natin nalagyan. Mali pala yung napalitan kong value. X muna natin. Two ohm siya, pero ang napaltan ko yung name ng mismo resistor. Sorry, sorry, my bad. So ayan, R1 two ohms. So okay na, run na natin. So ayan, plot, ay trace, add trace, IR1. So yung IR1 natin nagsimula siya sa negative cycle, so which means kailangan natin i-modify. So gawin natin siyang negative. So, ayan, nagsimula na siya sa positive cycle. Then, yung steady state RMS current natin, add trace din ulit tayo. We will input an RMS. RMS. Ayan, RMS, tas yung current of IR1. R1. So, ayan, we can see that we apply the square wave as an input signal to an RL circuit to analyze the transient response of the circuit. We can also measure the current of the inductor. So, pag inalis natin tong current, ay ito pali, pag inalis natin tong current ng R1, try natin tignan yung current ng inductor. So, delete natin to. Ano ba i-delete ko? Delete all traces na lang natin. Tapos lagay natin yung R RMS value. RMS. I. R1. So, ayan. Yan yung RMS value. So, lagay natin yung inductor. Current ng inductor. L1. Nag-negative siya, so modify natin, gawin natin negative. 
Yan, we can see earlier na magkapareho lang yung, yung flow ng current ng resistor and then current of inductor. So, based from the results in an RL circuit, the current in R1 and current in inductor is just the same. The current is, in, is increasing to its maximum value and then it decays exponentially. In an RL circuit, the voltage across the inductor decreases with time and the current time in the current price in their final value exponentially. So the the resistor waveform will be the same shape as, the, as the inductor current since in the Ohm's law we know that the current and the voltage due to the resistor is V is equal to IR. It is related. Related to V is equal to IR. IR. Resistor and inductor is in series so that it flows the same current. So... Yan. So, lagyan natin ang curse. Itignan natin kung ano value ng RMS. Mm, cursor on. So, value ng RMS. Ayan siya. Ayan yung value ng RMS natin. Ang value ng RMS natin ay 4.6614. So, ayan. 4.6614. 